Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, today we are going to be looking to some, um, let me put it like some theories, some theories on uh, how KSI will beat Jake Paul. I, that's, that's the difference. I say will because I know he's going to beat them. Uh, I predict that their fight is probably going to happen next year. Even though uh, KSI already announced that he has a lot of things going on, but he did that. This, he did the same thing last year. For example, he had um, he had like a whole tour, and then he went to train and still beat Logan Paul. So this thing for KSI feels like he's you no, know, it's, it's, it's like easy. Let's, let me put it like that. So today we're gonna be looking to some theories uh, on uh, how uh, KSI will beat Jake Paul. Uh, so. Um, I found a video, I found a video on YouTube, so I'm gonna be reacting to it. I'm gonna see what are they saying, probably give me my own opinion on top of it as well, from my point of view, and I'm saying so. Uh, yeah, so we, before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm on the road to hit 10,000 subscribers, that's my net goal, so I would appreciate if you could help a brother out, you know what I'm saying? And without further ado, let's get into it, man. But KSI will know just by the legend to Jordy. Hey, sorry, I'm pausing already. Let me see what you gotta say. Just to sm uh, being dismantled by Jake, how he is in comparison to Jake on a level, and it's gonna give him a lot to think about. So that's a very good point. KSI probably has a decent impression of what the difference is between their two skill levels. Mm. However, Jake might have an even better impression of the difference because both Jake and KSI share another fighting partner in common who and that's Logan Paul you can bet oh yeah because but ah uh, yeah, yeah I mean I understand because the thing is like yeah on fighting Cape, obviously uh, Logan Paul helped take Paul uh, you know like with a sparring session and all of this and all of that so I guess I, I kind of get what he's saying but obviously as we know KSI and Jake, Jake Paul have two different uh, like fighting styles KSI is more like I would say ruthless obviously uh, you know we all know that KSI punches harder than Jake Paul than Logan Paul combined together I mean that's a lot but I kind of, I kind of overreacted on that one but no <laughs> I kind of overreacted on that one I kind of I, I, I'm sorry I kind of overreacted on that one but I'm saying like KSI punches harder than Jake Paul and punches harder than Logan Paul so uh, and obviously as I say like the fighting style is different Jake Paul is more like you know uh, he 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 got a lot of skill. I got, he, like I didn't see much of his fighting because the fight with with Gabe like literally t um, you know stopped in the first round like, in the first seconds of the first round. So we didn't see much of what Jake Paul can do. For example, if the fight had gone longer, uh, obviously from uh, from the. Um, from the from I think it was in 2008 August 25th and 2000 yeah 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 2018 or 2017 now I don't remember when was the first fight against Deji that was uh, you couldn't you couldn't see much you couldn't see much because obviously now from then to now he has trained a lot he has a lot of knowledge so um, you know now he becomes a little bit more you can say like okay cool he got like he's basically ready for the next step if you get what I mean bet that Jake has had multiple sparring sessions with Logan and has probably picked Logan's brain and will continue to do so with his up and coming KSI match. Exactly, yeah. that's where I f***ed up. Like. Let's first see what each camp is saying while well, keeping in mind that there will be very biased opinions. Mm. So, Which is KSI normal. next, Jake? Huh? KSI is next? KSI is next. 100%. And what happened in that fight? I, 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 I think it's the same thing. I think Jake's going to get better because he's with me. And he's gonna learn how to twist better. He's gonna be jabbing better. And is is that you see the jab hurt him? Yep. He got right by a jab. So yep. if he's get right by a jab, then you got <laughs> good punches. You know, it's like that's true. I teach how to punch. I teach, I teach how to not be ball. You know that. You, you got know, that. That's what I do. The first yeah, point. that's your, that, that's your opinion. He's a, he's a, he's been a professional boxer. Uh, I've seen that he got a lot of experience. Obviously, when we find out that he's gonna be Jake Paul's trainer, we have to like you know dig a little bit into it to see what he used to do, his records and everything. So yeah, um, from obviously he taught Jake Paul like literally a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to uh, all of this discipline, also like obviously like skills and all of that. So yeah, you gotta give it to him. But obviously he's his trainer. He's gonna have to obviously like as you guys say, he's gonna be biased and also speak from his from his experience that Shane was making is that Jake is only going to get better. Better jabs, better twisting, 
Now the same is true for KSI because KSI will also be practicing. However, the, my understanding of this point is that the rate at which Jake is improving is now faster than it was previously with other trainers. And I would believe that to be true just from the other footage that we can see of Jake spending, investing all this time into Big Bear, training with a legend like um, Shane Mosley. No disrespect to let's go champ Shannon Briggs, though Shannon himself admitted that he's more of a fighter than a trainer himself. It is what it is. I'm a professional fighter. I'm not so much of a trainer as far as my life dedication. Can I train guys? Yeah, but I'm a fighter. He's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was I was about to say I forgot that like that I forgot that Shane Mosley is is black so I was about I was about to say like he's because you're black and Shane Mosley is white but I forgot that Shane Mosley is uh is uh is black obviously is but the thing is like I'm taking this from the press conference when he said that Logan is because Logan Paul is white that be, that, that 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 was the reason where he was gonna be KSI that was so stupid until this day still one of the funniest thing he ever said in his entire life as well. Also, Shane has this other point. Gibbs give him all the trouble in the world when they spar and they're jamming us. He knows Gibbs give him problems. And you fucking knocked out like that. He's scared as shit. We know that KSI had difficulties with Gib in the past. Though this um, difficulty, the footage that we have is from a few years ago. Yeah. So it's not it's different. an accurate depiction of the difference of how good Gibb is in comparison to KSI as today. If it were true that uh, KSI has the same difficulty with Gibb that he had in the past, then that would be reason for KSI to be concerned, given how quickly Jake beats Gibb. Now let's see what the other side is saying. All right, we saw JJ for a couple fights. You've oh, seen Jeff for a couple fights. Uh, give us your what analysis. What Jeff got to say on this? What you think will go down when these two meet in the ring? Um, from the one thing that I saw is that Jake didn't do nothing but imitate his brother. I mean, he he did better against a probably a lesser opposition. But um, if he runs, if he if he runs like he does, what he did against Gibb, yes, I it's gonna be the same thing that KSI and his brother. I mean, I think that if if KSI hits him clean, he's going down. He said it. He's, hey, we talk we're talking about a man who got a lot. I'm talking a lot of boxing knowledge. He trained the greatest boxer in, in the world. Like I would say the second because the greatest the greatest you gotta give it to Muhammad Ali. He's the greatest ever. But we gotta give we gotta give it to Floyd Mayweather because this guy this guy obviously he's undefeated. So Jeff obviously trained Mayweather alongside with Mayweather's uh the Mayweather, Mayweather, Mayweather's father, yeah, exactly, alongside with him, so like, trust me, Je Jeff has a lot of knowledge, so Jeff knows what he's Jeff talking. Jeff makes some interesting points here. If it is the case that Jake's strategy and the way that he fights is just an imitation of Logan Paul, it would be logically consistent to assume that there's a decent chance that similar results would take place when putting KSI with Jake in a ring as the results that were received during KSI versus the Logan, Logan Paul fight. Exactly. Another thing to consider is that while... But that's the thing, like, obviously, uh, both from KSI and Jake Paul's side, both, when they're, when they're about to go and compete, obviously, everything is going to change. KSI is probably going to be more technical because obviously him and Jake Paul are basically like the same height. Uh, they probably have the same reach. They have the same uh, physical structure. So I would say like, yeah, it's gonna be less wild. I would say because obviously Logan Paul is like six foot three. So KSI had to like you know do his normal thing that people mock him for, which is the swing. But obviously because Logan Paul is tall, obviously like you know and Logan Paul has more reach. That's what I'm saying. So like, is is this this like Logan Paul versus uh? Uh, Akeza versus Logan was basically like Anthony Joshua against uh, against um, what's his name Ruiz Ruiz even though Ruiz still won but it's kind of like that because KSI is shorter Ruiz is shorter and then Logan Paul is taller Anthony Joshua is taller but now it's gonna be like basically uh, Anthony Joshua versus Klitschko which is basically the same the same height same reach same everything that's literally what I'm saying but 
KSI we'll see how it goes. Paul one was happening. Jake had pointed out to KSI that he was fighting against the more athletically talented brother. And the only time that this narrative has changed was after Logan Paul had lost in the Logan vs. KSI 2 fight. A bit convenient for the narrative to change then, so it might be a little bit more difficult to believe that Jake is a better fighter than Logan. And if Jake isn't a better fighter than Logan, and KSI beat Logan, then there is logic that supports the fact that KSI would have an advantage of beating Jake. Which he will. Which he will, 100% he will. That's, that's just facts. That's just facts. KSI will be all of them and, and remain the champion. And probably, I don't know, whatever he does next is obviously up to him. But I'm really excited for this because um, I'm literally just waiting like for all of this to literally go away. Uh, wait for the press conferences. I'm going to try to go to the press conference. I've been to, uh, except from the press conference from KSI versus Joella, all the other conferences, there were two more. But I still went to both of them and I'm going to try to go to the fight as well. So uh, yeah, obviously I'm very excited for this. Uh, obviously I'm 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 on KSI side. Always been in KSI side, and it will continue to be like that. That's what I'm saying. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, for you please give it a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna like do some more uh, uh, some more videos around here and there, and then post it on the channel for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, without further ado, your boys out. Take it easy, fam. And peace.